How to add an invisibility effect to a subject filmed in a video with a green screen background in DaVinci Resolve 17.4.3. Inside your project's edit window, hold in Ctrl and press I to insert a video clip featuring a subject filmed with a green screen background and another video featuring the new background that you wish to add to your project in place of the green screen. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. Find both of the video clips that you have inserted into your project inside your Edits Media Pool Master Bin. Inside the thumbnail view, click on the icon which appears in the bottom right corner of each of your videos to check basic clip attributes, including the frame rate. In this particular example, the video clip that I've chosen to replace the green screen as the background has a frame rate of almost 60, whereas the second video clip featuring my subject that I wish to make invisible contains a frame rate of almost 24. Both video clips that you wish to incorporate into this effect must run the same number of stills per second. In order to change the frame rate if both of these are different, right click on the thumbnail of one of your videos, select clip attributes, under video find video frame rate and select your desired option from the custom menu. Here in this example I will select 24 Click OK when you've selected this. To ensure consistency in both video clips in terms of frames per second, I will also apply the same setting to the video clip featuring my subject. Go to the project settings in the bottom right corner of your interface to check the frame rate of your timeline also. If the frame rate is different to that for the video clips which you have chosen for this project, you will need to insert a new timeline into your project by holding in Ctrl and pressing N and unticking Use Project Settings in the Create New Timeline window followed by Format and selecting the relevant timeline frame rate from the options in the window before clicking on Create. Timelines can be accessed above your Edit Preview window with any clips that you have already inserted into your project's media pool also being present. With both of my videos now containing a frame rate of 24, I will first click and drag the thumbnail of the video clip featuring my subject to my edit timeline so that we can remove the green screen background. Select Effects. Underneath Toolbox, select Open Effects. Use the search box at the top to find 3D Keyer. Click and drag one of these filters to your newly inserted video clip edit on your timeline. Select the Transform option underneath the bottom left corner of your video preview and choose Open Effects Overlay which will enable us to see the selection that we make of the green screen background as we remove this. Select your video clip, go to Inspector and underneath Effects, click on the Pick tool inside the 3D Keyer settings. Click and drag your mouse cursor over the green screen background which should leave a blue trail as you drag your cursor. The selected green background should appear as black and only your subject should remain as white. Only let go of your mouse button once you have selected all of the green shade. If you let go too early, go to select the Add option and click and drag across the other sections of the green screen background that you have missed. Pay particular attention to the corners where the green screen background is regularly missed out when we use the 3D Keyer tool. Let go of your mouse button once you are done. Should there be any green reflection remaining on your subject, reduce this by going to Behavior Options with Color Space set to YUV and Flat, increase D-Spill from 0 to 1, which should remove any remaining green reflection on the edges of your subject. Ensure that Use Alpha is ticked at the bottom underneath Output. Right click on your video clip and go to select New Compound Clip. Give your clip a name, in this case here I will keep it as Compound Clip 1. Click Create once you are done. With the video clip on your timeline still selected, hold Backspace or Delete to remove this. Return to your Media Pool Master Bin where you can find the compound clip that you have just created. Now go to drag the thumbnail featuring the background which will feature in your new video clip to your edit timeline. Right click on this new video clip and go to Open Infusion page. With Media In 1 selected in your Nodes panel, hold Shift and press Space to open up the Select Tool window. 
Use the search box at the bottom to find the Displace tool. Select this and go to click on Add. We will use this tool to create the distortion effects which will ultimately make up our invisibility effect. Go to your Fusion Media Pool Master Bin and click and drag the compound clip which you previously created featuring the subject with the removed green screen background to your Nodes section which should appear as Mead In 2. Select the grey box to the right of this new node and drag this to the green arrow above Displace 1 to make a connection. Select Displace 1, go to Inspector and underneath Controls, increase Refraction Strength to 1. The value for this variable can be changed depending on the amount of detail that you wish to show of your subject. To make the outlines in particular stand out more, increase Light Power to 0.65 to ensure that the upper edges of your subject are consistently lit. Change light angle to 45, which should help the subject outline stand out more in the middle of your canvas. To have the outline stand out further, increase spread slightly to 0.1. As optional nodes, if you wish to move the subject in your new video clip, first select Media In 2, hold in Shift and press Space, Go to select a Transform XF tool. With the Transform 1 tool selected, go to Inspector and under Controls, adjust the horizontal positioning of your subject using Center X and the vertical positioning by adjusting Center Y. The size of your invisible subject can also be adjusted using the relevant variable and can be stretched using Aspect and rotated using the Angle option. Should you want your subject to blend in more to its surroundings, with the Transform 1 node selected, hold in Shift and press Space again. Go to add a Blur tool. With this new node selected, which should automatically be connected to Displace 1 also, under Inspector and Controls, increase Blur Size to 1.5. The background music to this video is provided by the proud channel sponsor Audio, a link to the company's website and another link which will enable you to make a discounted purchase of a lifetime supply of music and sound effects can be found in this video's description box. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.